In many age-associated diseases, a few functioning cells acquire inflammatory senescent properties and begin to accumulate at the disease site. For example, during idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, senescent cells accumulate in the epithelial layer of the lung, and senescence accumulation is associated with many other diseases as well. Previous studies have shown that the accumulation of senescent cells is a key characteristic of many diseases, and the removal of these cells can lead to significant health improvements. And thus, clearing of senescent cells has emerged as a promising therapeutic approach. While it is generally believed that buildup of senescent cells is related to a failure of immune surveillance, the precise identity and mechanism of these immune cells involved in surveillance of senescent cells was not known until recently. New research at the Bouchon lab has identified a subset of lymphocytes known as invariant natural killer T cells that are responsible for mediating the removal of senescent cells. Lipid antigens bound to CD1D on antigen-presenting cells recognize the TCR on INK T cells, leading to activation. Once activated, INK T cells recognize and specifically remove pathologic senescent cells. The new study from the Bouchon lab shows that in two different senescence-associated disease models, activation of INK T cells was sufficient to eliminate senescent cells in vivo. The first set of experiments show that senescence pre-adipocytes accumulated in the white adipose tissue in mice maintained on a high-fat diet. Using the lipid antigen alpha-gal-sur to stimulate endogenous INK T cells resulted in elimination of senescent cells and improved metabolic function in these obese mice. The second set of experiments used a model for IPF in which bleomycin injury resulted in accumulation of senescent cells, increased fibrosis, and eventual death. alpha gal treatment following the injury not only cleared senescent cells, but reduced fibrosis and prevented death. A cytotoxicity assay using primary human cells showed that activated INK T cells can directly and preferentially kill senescent cells, while non-senescent cells were unaffected. This suggests that stimulation of INK T cells could be utilized in humans to clear accumulated senescent cells. Current approaches for senescent clearing therapy involve senolytic drugs, which kill senescent cells directly. However, these drugs target proteins that are ubiquitous, resulting in toxic side effects. By contrast, an immunotherapy approach by targeting INK T cells is exquisitely specific and could be a promising new therapeutic to treat senescence-associated diseases.